Ahead of the upcoming Ondo State governorship election scheduled for Saturday, November 16, 2024, sensitive election materials have successfully arrived in Akure, the state capital. The Independent National Electoral Commission confirmed the arrival on Monday through a statement on its official ex handle. INEC disclosed that the materials were transported by the Nigerian Air Force and received by officials of the Central Bank of Nigeria in Akure. This transfer aligns with the agency's efforts to ensure a smooth and transparent electoral process. Meanwhile, candidates of different parties are traveling around for last-minute campaigns to help shape the minds of the electorate. Who was special advisor to the Ondo State Governor on Transport and member of Campaign Committee, Binga Omole, is joining me uh, for, to talk more on the preparations ahead of the election. Thanks so much for joining us on TVC News, Mr. Omole. Good afternoon. It's my pleasure to be here once again. Right. So with the election just days away, uh, can you provide an overview of your party's ground mobilization efforts? How confident are you in the turnout strategy? Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. I can beat my chest and say the All Progressive Congress and our candidate, Governor Lucky Oribis and Yidatiwa, has done all the needful. We have crossed the T's and we have dotted the I's as in preparation for the election. In fact, as I'm talking to you now, the campaign in the last local government, which is the home local government of the governor, is going on in the like, local government. We have done 17 local government before now, prior to that, we are in a war yesterday, and uh, the final local government rally is in the Lajena, and where the grand finale of the campaign, where some of the national leaders and some of the uh, APC governor will be in town is tomorrow. We have done everything possible, everything in the books possible, legitimate to win this election. And I was talking to somebody before this program that I've been around for a very long time, since 1999, I've been an active participant in those state uh, politics, particularly the military election. This is the first time when you enter on those states and you don't feel that there's going to be an election. Because it's going to be, uh, uh, you know, there was there's the opposition are not even prepared. We can't see them. That's the truth of the matter. It's not because I'm APC. They are not just there. There's no opposition as far as I'm concerned in terms of, I mean, in terms of engagement of the people, in terms of canvassing for people, we don't see them anywhere. So it's just like, uh, but then we are not taking anything for granted. We are mm. not taking any chance. We are working assiduously because we want to make history. We want to make set a new record. The last uh, victory we had in 2020, we have like 51% uh, victory. But this time around, we want to push it to like 80, 95% if it's possible. And that is doable yeah. because, I mean, uh, we, we are prepared. I'm, I'm wondering how that is going to be achievable because being the party in power, the opposition parties will always find it convenient to criticize the government, both at the local and the national level. How is your campaign managing to counter their narratives and criticisms effectively? Well, that is the work of opposition. Like I said, unfortunately, the, the, the major, the so-called major opposition in Ondo State didn't get it right by presenting somebody uh, in the character of the, their candidate, somebody who was a former deputy governor who was dropped, who was not picked for the second time. Somebody that his character is questionable. Yeah, I mean, the last debate shows it or somebody who was on national TV telling lies. So, and uh, the choice of those three people want to make is about making a choice between two former deputy governors. So it's going to be uh, on their integrity, on their characters. And on those three people knows so, like you say, opposition, we always talk. They try to do a lot of, I mean, propaganda, but they see that it doesn't work. So they've even kept quiet now. So the truth of the matter is that, the truth of the matter is that people in Ondo State are in home, they are home on the same page with Governor Lucky or Mr. Mm -hmm. for so many reasons, so many reasons. So, like I, I, like I said, we are not going to take it for granted. We are working as it does me. But we want this yeah. victory. We want, like I said, we want to set a new record. Absolutely. But the stakes are, you know, really getting higher. There are different parties. Your party is seeking to, you know, um, hold on to power, you know, via re-election, getting re-elected into this position. But uh, how are you working with the security agencies as well as the um, electoral umpire, that's Independent National Electoral Commission, in order to ensure free, fair and transparent election come Saturday? 
Well, uh, the job of security is for the security uh, operatives, and uh, I think they are on top of the game. For the most very first time, like I said, I want to give it to the opposition. This is the first time that we are we are going to a gubernatorial election and no violence in terms of people, I mean, attacking each other, destruction of billboard. I think people have come of peace that people are more enlightened now. And like I said, because the opposition is weak, so they have nothing to, to offer. Uh, the preparation is in top notch. The security, I give it to the uh, commissioner of police in Nondo State. He has been on top of his game and all the uh, security agencies. So when they will speak at the appropriate time, I cannot speak for the security agency, but so mm -hmm. far so good. He has, he has not been any skirmishes. There's no uh, issue of uh, security concern as far as this campaign is, uh, is, right. is concerned. There has no, we've not heard of uh, APC attacking PDP or PDP attacking APC member or SAP. The campaign has been smooth in all the Italian government, and I give it to the opposition for the very first time. I mean, they, well, they, they play, they were matured in that aspect because right. from, unlike before now, you will see the opposition, apart from the critics, criticism they do, they go to attack uh, members of the ruling class just to provoke them, and that has not uh, really happened this time around. Absolutely. So I give it to the opposition. So, and of say... course, to the ruling party, of course, we are showing maturity as the ruling party and um, we are being magnanimous in uh, in right. everything we do uh, we, we've shown our governor has shown leadership absolutely and, and as a united on those states we are facing this election as a united i'll say that's state. a good news to to hear from you there because what what nigerians actually yeah, want, particularly i mean you are journalists on, on the find out yourself right yeah. that's what they what that's exactly what they want free and fair election uh, yeah. because it doesn't yeah. have to be about um, violence it has to be peaceful Thank you so much for speaking yeah. with our special advisor to Ondo State Governor on Transport and Member of Campaign Committee, Benga Omoli. The pleasure you. is mine. Thank you.